What's going on YouTube? It's Calciscoped, back from another video. Today's video, I'm bringing you guys John Morant, Beast Awakened artwork that was created in Photoshop. I really had fun with this one and I just want to talk to you guys about the process and kind of just have a chill, relaxed video. It's been a while since I did a speed art like this in this type of format where I'm just talking over my process and the ups and downs of it, everything like that. So this process started on a live stream you know, I've been trying to get out as many live streams as I can. Usually they fall on the weekends because that's when I'm not as busy with um, Florida State football and that type of content creation for recruiting our players, games, whatever the case may be. We are in off season, so there's not as many games. I'm not traveling or anything like that. But recruiting has definitely picked up over there. I got this idea of the Ja Morant project because he's just been going insane and I don't know if you guys saw that dunk that he had that like literally cocked back to the back of his his shoe and then just punched it over dude and I was like yo alright it's time for a new Ja Morant artwork so I hopped into Photoshop when I had some time the next day and this is the this is the result this is what we went through and everything like that as you can see by the title, I put Ja Morant. I had put a rose in his hand by the end of this project. And whenever I do a Ja Morant type of design, type of artwork, I always try to include Derek Rose or just some type of deep rose elements on the project. Just cause the players have a lot of similarities. You know, there's always the conversation of who's better, Ja Morant or Derek Rose. Oh, I got John Moran. I got D Rose. Oh, you're crazy, bro. What are you talking about? Like, at the end of the day, these players are both insane. And to say who would you take in their prime, it's hard to say as well because Derrick Rose, I don't believe he ever hit his prime. He took a bummy Bulls team to the finals, but I don't think that during his his rise he ever was in his prime truly because he had to add that three-point shot that was increasingly getting better but then he had that devastating injury that kind of just left his career as it was and we never really got to see the full prime Derrick Rose I believe not to say that he wasn't a beast obviously he was a different type of beast um, the comparison of John Moran to D Rose I I think I would take I think I would take John Moran just because I know more about basketball now than I did then. And like, so I grew up watching D-Rose a little bit more than uh, John Moran because I don't watch John Moran as much. But I feel like John Moran does have that athleticism over Derrick Rose. Uh, in terms of leadership, I don't know if John Moran is the better leader or not. And there is so much talent in the NBA. It's not to say that John Morant couldn't lead his team to the NBA Finals, but it would be a lot more difficult. But if I had to pick a player, I think I would pick John Morant over Derrick Rose, in my honest opinion. He's a little bit more springy. He just does crazy, crazy stuff. He has a little bit more energy, a little more pop to him. So that's nice. my type of guy. John Morant's my type of guy that I like to root for. Um, Derrick Rose is also a type of guy that you just like to root for, as he was an underdog. But, you know, everybody has their preferences. So if you want to come at me in the comment section, go, go crazy. It's fine. Do what you want to do. But I would take John Morant over Derek Rose. In this project, I really wanted to implement a cave type of feel to get that Memphis Grizzly type of type. Yeah, type of vibe going on the canvas. So I made sure before I started the project to sketch it out. Whenever I sketch out something before I start the project, the project comes out so much better. So I need to get in more of a rhythm of doing that, more in a habit of doing that, because if the project's coming out way better from sketching out, why do I not do it? Right. So there's always times that we know something works better, but we just neglect it. So that's something I need to just not neglect whenever I do a project or a, a bigger concept art like this that I know is going to take several hours. I'm going to definitely start sketching it out. And that's when I know it's going to come out a lot better because during the sketching process, you have your ups and downs. You have 
Oh, I actually don't think that looks as good as I thought it was because now when you see a visual, visual representation, that is a different type of that's a different type of energy field than just what your mental thought is because our thoughts they can always run rampant our thoughts are whatever they are but once you have the, that visual representation that's going to make a big difference to whatever you're doing and whatever you want to create because you're going to really be able to see it with your eyes and know if that's something you want to go in the direction of or you want to change the direction whatever the case may be so yeah i wanted to add that cave and then also the glowing water i think that the glowing water by the end of this was such a good touch because you had those contrasting colors of orange to blue and i really wanted that contrast to be evident so it was like an orange sky orange background blending into the blue glowing water which kind of just represents the the blue glowing water kind of represents the grizzlies colors as well and yeah the grizzlies on this canvas they're all from envato elements so i got my stocks from unsplash and envato elements and i can't i can't say enough about envato elements so yeah i, I am an envato affiliate now if you guys do see that tag right above my name and so yeah be sure to check out my Envato affiliate link it's going to be in the description of this video and i do post on my story so check the dis description of this video become an Envato, um download Envato markets i mean and use my affiliate link it really does help my channel out because once you guys use my link it gets i get credit from that um, which ultimately gets me paid and makes it allows me to make more content like this for you guys so check out that Envato affiliate link it's going to be in the description or you guys can check my other socials where i post it as well as on my link tree with that being said there were some difficulties that came across on this project one of them was the perspective right so i'm still 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 learning about how to hone in on my perspective and how much haze i would say that i want to use because a lot of times on my project i don't want to use a lot of haze but once i start getting into the rhythm of actually making the scene i realize that you just need haze and you need blur you need depth when you're doing something that is more atmospheric something that's more concept arty with a landscape and things like that so um but i do struggle sometimes to add the right amount of haze or even the right colors because Generally, when you have a light source, right, it's going to be in the back of the scene unless you're doing something different. And that that light source is going to progressively get lighter as it goes into the background. So that means that your foreground is going to be pretty dark. Now, in this scene, I did the glowing water. So that meant that first I had to lay down the base lighting. So the base lighting was just everything as it is, even the water as it is before the glowing effect. Right. So. That meant that the scene was really dark in the front before I add the glowing water. Now, once I add the glowing water, that changed the scene, changed the perspective, even changed some of the haze because I had now I had blue haze from everything that I was creating. And so, yeah, it just made a big difference. And I had to really adjust to that and kind of more understand where the haze should be. So, yeah, like, you know, it's just the ever learning process and what I would say about what I'm learning is don't be afraid to boost the haze. All right. So that's like a, it's like a lyric. Don't be afraid to boost the haze, right? Just keep your brush opacity on low flow and choose similar colors that are in the environment, right? So if you're making an environment and I had like an orangey uh, blue vibe going on in my artwork, just make the environment, create the environment, and then use similar colors from that when you're using the haze. So your haze is going to be darker as it gets closer to, as it gets further away from the light source. And it's going to begin to get lighter as it goes towards the light source. Okay. So that's a big part of concept art and perspective and, con and concepts that you want to create to make realistic. Because that's what I'm always going for. I'm always going for a realistic vibe. But still keep that kind of saturation kind of boost that you will see in, you know, just cool little artworks. And that's what I like to 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 do. Yeah, so moving forward with the channel, I just want to continue to get better and bring you guys concept art in a bigger 
emphasis this year is definitely on my posters, my poster designs and making that better, expanding in that and just becoming more comfortable in all areas of art. You guys do know I draw a good amount. So I mean, constantly drawing and trying to get better at that as well. Just really trying to hone in on the artists of athletes, really just attacking every avenue of art eventually. But what I would say in terms of how you want to spend your time and stay focused is just focus on one thing at a time. Don't try to be the greatest concept artist and poster designer at the same time. Take like three months at a time to just study on one thing, study on a couple different skills and it's all going to build up over time. We live in a world where everybody wants to be the best in one day or you watch these oh master photoshop in eight hours videos or courses it doesn't work like that just got to be consistent stay consistent and just have a goal in mind that you want to have but don't get attached to what you see on social media what other people's skill they have already you don't know the time that it took for them to build that up or get to a master mastery level so just be patient be humble and just be just stay scope man just stay scope for real man and also a big shout out to all my patreon supporters if you guys haven't checked out the patreon you guys can watch stream playbacks like this you guys can watch yeah the full stream playbacks you guys get my project files all my project files go up on patreon literally and i'm dropping texture and asset pass it and i'm dropping texture and asset packs i meant consistently over there so definitely check out the patreon it is going to also be linked down below it's a big help to me as you guys know that it's going to help me to become a full-time independent artist which is going to be awesome because i'm going to be bringing more content to you guys more great content to youtube more great content to whatever social media platform and just just getting better um individually just overall so that's going to allow me to help you guys out even more than I do now because I'd like to do that more, but you know, got to pay them bills. So I do appreciate everybody that's become a patron. I, we're almost up to like 100 now. So that's really big time, man. Like two years, hundred patrons. Like I would take it any day. Uh, I'll take one patron any day. Just anybody supporting me. It just keeps me going in that loop. And I just learn from it and yeah, just learn from what you guys like to see, what you guys would not want to see more of and everything like that so just always be aware transitioning to just something in general just always be aware of what people want to see from you but don't get caught up in trying to stick to an identity okay so i've changed my identity so many times as you guys have seen from the last video i was literally an athlete in college and now I'm still involved in college sports at the division one level now from D division three, but now instead of an athlete, I'm literally an artist and that only took four years. So you have to think about, you can change your life really fast, but you just have to stay consistent and stay focused. Everything is about attention. One of the first laws of anything is attention where your attention goes, where your attention goes, your energy flows. All right. So keep that in mind when you're doing your artwork when you're doing anything that you want to be great at where your attention goes your energy flows and write down your goals each and every day let's get it guys 2023 is going to be a big year for a lot of my supporters a lot of my people in the discord and just anybody that watches this channel just take in what i say and stay away from distractions stay focused Put your attention on what you want to see yourself be in the future and everything's going to take care of itself. It, like we get so caught up in all these little different things and everything's going to take care of itself, I promise. So make sure you guys stay scoped. Um, definitely check out the rest of this speed art. I hope you guys have just been chilling. I like to just bring these chill. I want to bring these chill speed arts back as I mix it in between some more in depth more cinematic type of videos i think that'll be a good great balance for the youtube channel right so like comment subscribe become a patron today and use that envato affiliate link if you guys want to get envato elements i highly suggest it not just because i'm sponsored but i really do highly suggest envato elements i use it on every literally every project all my projects are going to be available for you guys um, in that patreon link so let's go guys 
catch you guys in the next video it's going to be probably a more cinematic type video next time as i'm trying to stagger these videos but i really do appreciate everybody's support and i will see you guys next time it's been council scoped the artist of athletes stay scoped peace